gear on. I'm on, baby. Greetings and welcome back to another one of Slush's Hot Tub Beer Tastings on the Oktoberfest Beer Tour. Tonight we're going to be uh, sampling a nice uh, selection from Downington, Pennsylvania. We got Victory, Victory Brewing Fest Beer. So we'll get to that in a minute. Um, been a little bit off here lately. Uh, did a little traveling for work. Got some leaves. A little windy out. What you guys have noticed is, I think Thor is coming in. Yeah. Wow. I, think, I think Thor and the Avengers are coming down through a, a wormhole and something's going on. Spooky. We're under attack. Um, but uh, I've been a little bit behind, so I apologize to, to uh, the loyal viewers and people that are asking me. Um, also, I just want to say that if anything looks a little off tonight, the wife made me put my nipples below the water line. Evidently, that might have been disturbing some people, so I don't know. So every now and then, I might have to bounce up and down just to give the fans what they want. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to crack the top here with my fancy Rick Laurie chain uh, kick-ass bottle opener that I've had for years now. Plug shout out for Laurie Photography. Ah! Sorry, guys. Oh, oh, <laughs> we got a camera malfunction. No, we showed your nipples. Oh. Give them what they want. All right, how about them Bengals today? You know, I've been chopping wood for two days, actually with a log splitter. Still sore and I still hurt. So today I wasn't watching the game, I was listening on the radio. So ran a truckload of firewood down to my beloved Brookwood Swim Club, load up the Monday Night Football guys, and give you guys something real nice for tomorrow night's game. Get in the truck, turn on the radio, and, they, and, and the damn Buccaneers tied the game. Now, I will give them some slack because I think everybody at this point on defense is hurt or just stupid, like Perfect and Kirkpatrick. Um, but we got to straighten the ship. And also, you got to give them some credit because uh, Fitz Magic came in the game and brought them back. So, all that being said, I'm still a big Houday fan. They're heading into a bye week at the right time. So, let, let's hope they can get the ship turned around. Um, tonight we're using a uh, Cincinnati beer run glass. Some of you might, may or might not know that I, I like to work out from time to time. Time to time being one day, one year, maybe the next year. I don't know. But we did the uh, Cincinnati beer run uh, last year, two years ago, maybe. Concept was pretty cool. You know, you run about a half a mile or whatever, three quarters, and um, this is gonna blow away and crack, by the way. You run like three quarters of a mile, you stop and chug a beer, right? Yeah, it's like, it was the biggest collection of people that might have a heart attack at one time that I've ever seen in my life. Um, luckily, I didn't fall. My boy Brad Prox showed up thinking I was gonna smoke him though. It was funny, he was really worried until I got to about mm, 0.33 miles and I was 100 yards behind him. So it was a good time, but got that uh, souvenir mug out today. So this is again, this is the uh, Victory uh, Fest beer. I know it's almost November, so we gotta ramp up these tastings and get the selections done for the fans. So let's see what we got here. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of fans are saying, damn, Slush, not many beers you don't you don't like. Um, well, probably why I could slip in a, in a uniform for the Bengals, and some people might not recognize it's not a Bengal, right? Um, it is a good beer, though. Uh, before we get to the rating of the beer, though, got to give a shout-out, and we need some help for our Holy Cross Indians. Painful week coming up here. We're in the playoffs. Kids are fighting, struggling through a tough couple uh, rebuilding seasons. We play the number four overall ranked team in the state Friday night. And our 14 year old son gets to go up a kid up against a kid named Stingray, who's six foot eight, 300 and something pounds, division one prospect. So told Luke, stay low, shake his hand, ask him if you can have a photo and autograph after the game. and basically just get the hell out of his way but uh, we need some prayers no injuries no injuries prayers for the indians so put us on your prayer list 
All right, let's take another another swig here. It's good. It's good. 92. Going with a 92 on slush's scale. There's not many Oktoberfest beers that one wouldn't like. So if you're thinking of dabbling in the craft beer, Oktoberfest beers are a good uh, entry level in the craft beer overall. So uh, this one's good. Doesn't have a bite. It's good, clean, crisp uh, Marzen taste. Uh, it's good. 92. All right, so I'm going to try to pump, up, uh, pump out a few videos. Going to be a couple day break. I don't need anybody crashing, jumping the fence, and, and reaching out. Um, be on location shooting a big movie in the next couple days, so more details on that later. Um, we'll get the videos wrapped up, though. I got three more beers, I think. I think I got three more in, on deck in the bar in there, and um, we got Goose Island, and uh, well, we got about three more beers. Um, <laughs> I'm going to also make a list up, and we're going to show the final rankings, too. So we're going to have some fun with this wrapping up. So I thank everyone for tuning in. I mean, some guys that you like to troll me, you like to just come cruising through, you know, like you get off the interstate and want to see what's off the exit. I know you're watching because I can see it. Um, it's amazing how something like this gets hundreds of views, and only a handful of people admit that they, uh, that they watch. So keep watching, keep tuning in. I'm going to start calling people out, though. We're going to have fun with this. So, everyone, enjoy your Sunday evening. Victory from Downington, PA, Fest Beer, 92. Slushes out. <laughs>